Hey guys, Rex here with another Adobe Photoshop tutorial and in today's tutorial I will be showing you how to create this flowing color effect and what we're going to be using is no brushes, no shapes, no patterns. Uh, this is made 100% from scratch so if you want to learn how to do it, stay with me. So what we're going to do is create a new composition with 845 by height 475 resolution 72 color mode RBG and background contents white. Click OK. And the first thing we're going to do is double click our background and unlock it. And we're going to hit our gradient tool and go to solid. And make sure you have a good dark gray to black gradient. And we're going to go on radial and reverse. And try to go from the center out and you'll get that gray to black big net look. Alright, that looks good. So what we're going to do now is create a new layer and go back to our gradient tool and instead of the gradient type being solid hit noise and what we're going to do is hit randomize and we want something with a full range of colors you don't want a lot of same colors so once you have a full range it doesn't matter the colors for this but hit OK and now what we're going to do is hold shift and go from the top down but first we will want to undo our radial tool and hit the linear tool and that looks good. So now what we're going to do is hit Control U and desaturate it. And we're going to hit our Select tool and hit Control T. We're going to bring that down, bring it up to the middle, and we're going to hold down Control and bring the corners up. And we're going to do the same for this. go we now have a straight swash but that's not what we want so we're gonna go ahead well first we're going to go to image adjustments levels and take this black and output it a little more to get rid of the black we don't want any black in this we're gonna want a good gray and white so okay and now what we're going to do is hit control T again so we can edit it and hit warp and you'll come up with this screen and you're just going to want to warp it in to give it that curve and when you have something you like hit OK and now we have that nice curve to small to big and we're gonna hit another new layer and we have our brush tool at around 60 pixels and you're just going to I'm going to just use the basic red scale so I'm gonna start off with a little pink sorry uh, you will want to have a normal brush for this sorry about that and we're just going to put that over and now we're going to select a red you can select whatever colors you want for this and a yellow and finally an orange Now, once we have that, the first thing we're going to do is duplicate that layer. Actually, no. What we're going to do is go to Blur, Gaussian Blur, at around 75 pixels. And hit OK. And now we're going to want to duplicate it. And we might want to duplicate it one more time. First thing we're going to do is get a nice clipping mask of those onto it see how that looks and first thing we want to do is head overlay or soft light whichever one looks better soft light and let's try overlay and that kind of gives it a shiny I guess effect um, I'll use that one and just okay 
and that's basically the tutorial if you take a lot more time on it you can get the better looking and different effects but it's a very simple tutorial and I'm going to have uh, some tutorials basing on just a normal Adobe Photoshop CS5 features um, so if you want those tutorials please rate, comment, and subscribe and peace out